In this session, we're going to have a look at understanding OOP and what OOP is. OOP is Object Oriented Programming, and it's basically a technique uh, within programming or methodology or concept that you create objects and these objects interact with each other. There's many languages that do use OOP, uh, C++, uh, Java, C Sharp, PHP 5, and Python. There's a few others as well. Uh, but these are the ones that are most popular. Basically, you create these objects within the program, and then once you've created these objects, these objects then can interact with each other, and then they produce results, and then these results, you can then use them within your program. When you create an object, this object can have methods, verbs, and it can have properties, which are nouns. For example, I'm an object, a property of myself, the object would be Tarek, and my name, Tarek, and a method would be talking, as you can see, I'm talking to you now. Okay, so that's a verb. So let's have a look at this in, in another example. So for example, we have an object, which is a cat, that cat is the object, the method would be per, notice the parentheses, it's the open bracket and close bracket afterwards, this is a verb, you can instruct the cat to purr, and then the cat will purr, this is the action. The property, for example, of a cat would be a name, and the name of the cat would be kitty. This is a noun. Each object can have as many properties and methods as it needs. You can create these objects, or you can use predefined objects that exist within the API of JavaScript. So here's an example of methods and properties. So uh, a few methods of the cat object that we were talking about before. Purr, meow, eat, sleep, and properties name is kitty, fur length is long, fur color is tabby, domesticated is true. And notice that the properties have a name value pair, okay, with a colon beforehand. Uh, methods have an open close parentheses. And properties are name value pairs. For example, surname is Fidel. So the surname part is the name, the value part is the Fidel. Objects in themselves can have sub-objects. So you can have children, and children can have those children, and so on. For example, if we have a look at the cat object again, the cat has paws. The paws itself is a sub-object of cat. And then front is a sub-object of paws. Okay? And then left would be a sub-object of front paws. So left is a sub-sub-object of cat. So JavaScript is a dot syntax language, so you can reference these objects using dots and methods using dots and the properties using dots. So have a look at this. So car.wheels, this will reference the sub-object wheels that are part of the car. Cat.pause.front.left, you're traversing through the sub-objects to get to the final object. So as you can see, left is a child of front, front is a child of pause, and pause is a child of cat. If you look at it from reverse, cat.per. So here we're adding a method after the object cat. So we're instructing the cat to purr. Wish it was that easy. And here's a real a JavaScript example. Document.write. So dot .write is our method to write something to that document. Here's another example. Forms.element.radio.click. So here we're looking at forms finding all elements within the forms, and then finding all radios within those elements, and then we're going to click. So it's a very, very big topic, OOP. Uh, I tried to explain it in five or so minutes, but this is just an overview of OOP, enough to kind of get you started in using it in JavaScript.